Good evening, everyone. We finally made it to the weekend, and we are looking at just a beautiful night overall. 77 degrees at the airport with mostly clear skies. We are definitely looking at those easterly winds at about 3 miles per hour. Today, we officially reached 92 degrees as your afternoon high. 90 in Las Cruces, 91 in Juarez, and here's how we compare. On average, El Paso should be hovering closer to 87 degrees. We did manage to stay a few degrees above that today. Thankfully, 10 degrees below the record set in 1996. Now, this morning, we actually woke up to some chilly conditions. 53 degrees is how we started off this morning. 61 was is normal for this time of year. And tonight, going into tomorrow morning, it looks like we'll stay just slightly warmer than this morning at 56 degrees. That's your forecast overnight low. Still staying below average. 52 in Las Cruces, 56 in Juarez. So, high pressure system is definitely settling in over the weekend. And basically, what this means is that we are going to be seeing some very very warm temperatures, so much so that we could potentially be seeing our first 100 degree mark of the year. So let's go ahead and set up tomorrow first. 97 degrees is your forecast high. That definitely uh, it stays above average and it does come close to record highs, but we'll get to that in just a second. Northerly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Las Cruces, we're forecasting a high of 96 degrees. Northerly winds, 10, uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so really nice calm winds. Warm temperatures, but then as you'll notice, we're going to slowly begin to see that development of a high pressure system. You'll notice that all that blue stays towards the north, right? And right here, we begin to see the development of that ridge or that high pressure system right over the area. It's going to take hold of the Four Corners area, of course, far west Texas, southern New Mexico, and it's going to give us the opportunity to see those triple digit highs. So here's how your weekend plans out. So we're going to be seeing 97 degrees on Saturday. That is going to match the record set in 1988. On Sunday, 102 is your forecast high. Your record, 102. This one set in 2000. So it looks like we'll stay away from record highs on Sunday, but then on Monday, we'll be flirting with triple digits. If we do hit that 100 degree mark, it'll be our second day in a row seeing triple digits. If not, it still breaks the record of 98 set in 2018. So Monday is going to be awfully warm as we kickstart next week, and it looks like much of next week is actually going to be staying in those upper 90s. So we'll be seeing upper 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Our next cold front moves in. This cold front is what's going to give us those windy conditions Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures are going to slowly begin to drop. So we're looking at 94 degrees on Saturday, 90 on Sunday. Sunday, next Sunday, of course, is expected to be one of our coolest days this week. Can you believe that? So we're going from the hottest day so far this year on Sunday to one of the cooler days for next week. So that's kind of interesting. Interesting. I do want to give a big shout out to one of our weather watchers tonight. This one goes to Pam Miller. Thank you so much. She's such a we uh, loyal weather watcher from Las Cruces. So beautiful shot. Big shout out to you. This is the evening sky here in, Ol in Las Cruces. And if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> 